Today, we're going to learn English with Brad Pitt, and we are starting right now. How's it going, guys? And welcome to Talk Speak English, the English channel that helps you speak English with confidence. Now, in today's video, we're going to look at an interview with Brad Pitt about his latest film, Ad Astra, and we're going to analyze some of the language that he uses. Without further ado, let's get to it. Well, I mean, on one hand, you know, you get older and you just get tired of, of protecting yourself or having any secrets. This is a common structure used in English when you are comparing two different facts or two opposite ways of thinking about a situation. For example, you could say, on one hand, I'd like to eat a burger, but on the other hand, I'm trying to lose weight. Interestingly, Brad Pitt uses it in this example to introduce his point and chooses not to use on the other hand to introduce the other point. Well, I mean, on one hand, you know, you get older and you just get tired of, you know, you just want to get on with it. And we wanted to get on with it in this film in a way. Um... Wanna is less commonly and less regularly used as a contraction of want to or want a. For example, do you want to dance? Or if you're using it for want a, you could say, for example, do you want a sweet? I mean, we all carry, I think, um, great pains, great regrets. Um... Now, regret is interesting as it can be used as a noun, i.e. a thing, or a verb, i.e. an action. Regret as a noun means a feeling of sadness or disappointment over something that has happened or something that you have failed to do. As a verb, it means to feel sad or disappointed over something that you've done or failed to do. For example, we could say, he regretted not taking his camera to take a picture of the beach. I mean, we all carry, I think, um, great pains, great regrets. Um... So do you have any regrets? Garfield, maybe. You were cruel. If you don't apologize, you will regret it. People always say that. Um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. And we're good at packing that away, not dealing with it. Some are, are really good at getting through it and... and uh... Now the phrasal verb pack something away means to put something back where it is usually kept. For example, in a box or a case. In this example, Brad Pitt uses the phrasal verb to say that people can be good at packing away their emotions. He's saying that people hide their true feelings or emotions by putting them somewhere and forgetting about them. Um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. And we're good at packing that away. How's it going, guys? And I hope you're learning lots of new phrases and vocabulary. Now, don't forget, if you're new here, why not subscribe, but also click the bell so you don't miss anything. Not dealing with it. Some are, are really good at getting through it. And, and To deal with something means to take the necessary action especially in order to solve a problem. For example, the government has failed to deal with the problem of homelessness in the city. To not deal with something is to not face or try to solve the problem or issue. Not dealing with it, some are, are really good at getting through it. And... Now, get through has many meanings in English, but in this context, it means to come successfully to the end of an unpleasant experience or period of time. Poor thing. You look awful. Thank you. We'll get through this. This is a long hug. Okay. Just hold on tight. We'll get through this together. Oh my okay. God, cutie. And um, and coming out the other side in a in a more well-rounded, um, I think, more um, confident and loving human being. The expression to come out the other side means to emerge successfully from something. For example, a tunnel. Here, Brad Pitt uses the expression in an interesting way to talk about emerging successfully from a depressing or upsetting period of time. 
Um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. And we're good at packing that away, not dealing with it. Some are, are really good at getting through it and, and, um, and coming out the other side in a, in a more well-rounded, um, I think, more um, confident and loving human being. So we just wanted to, like, no holds barred. Let's, let's just go. Let's get it out there. No holds barred is an English expression, meaning something without limits or controls. For example, the manager in a meeting could say they could say anything they like, no holds barred. Well, I mean, on one hand, you know, you get older and you just get tired of, of protecting yourself or having any secrets. You know, you just want to get on with it. And we wanted to get on with it in this film in a way. Um, I mean, we all carry, I think, um, great pains, great regrets. Um, um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. And we're good at packing that away, not dealing with it. Some are, are really good at getting through it and, and, um, and coming out the other side in a, in a more well-rounded, um, I think, more um, confident and loving human being. So we just wanted to, like... No holds barred. Let's let's just go. Let's get it out there. So there we have it guys, another video done for you there, and I hope you learned lots of new phrases and vocabulary. Now, as ever, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great content. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.